Thanks for joining me as we talk about the decongestants. Oxymetazoline, pseudoephedrine, or in the United States, pseudoephedrine, and phenylephrine are decongestants. The decongestants that I just mentioned are going to be working on the alpha-1 receptor. They're going to be agonists of the alpha-1 receptor. Recall that the term alpha-1 receptor means the selective adrenaline, or in the United States, epinephrine receptor. The alpha-1 receptors are located on the pupil of the eyes, the blood vessels, and the urinary system. Let's go all the way back to the histamine that's being released by the mast cells. When there is an allergic thing happening, the mast cell is going to degranulate, and in that degranulation, one of the main things is going to be the histamine. Histamine is going to go out, go onto the receptors on the blood vessel, dilate the blood vessel, increase the permeability, and then of course we come down with the runny nose. We've got all of those nasal um, symptoms that occur and mainly from the histamine. What we're doing with the alpha-1 agonists is that we're going to bind onto a different receptor altogether. And binding onto that different receptor, onto that uh, receptor for adrenaline and adrenaline-like substances, as we bind onto that, it's going to do exactly opposite what the histamine was doing. Oxymetazoline is a drug that is going to be uh, administered in a couple different ways, by drops or also in the form of a nasal spray. Oxymetazoline is not only good for the nasal congestion, but it's also good for the red eye and it's sold for that purpose of decreasing the redness in the eye, which is, of course, uh, due to the dilation of the blood vessels in the eye. Pseudoephedrine is only sold as an oral drug. And unfortunately, despite the fact that pseudoephedrine is very, very efficacious in its application as a decongestant, it's pretty much being so regulated that it's hard to find it. Um, what's happening is that the pseudoephedrine is able to be made into methyl amphetamines and quite easily, apparently. And because of that, its sale in most Western countries is very, very regulated and sometimes even phased out. It's largely being replaced by phenylephrine, but unfortunately, phenylephrine is a drug that has been found to be, in a number of different clinical trials, it's been found to be no better than placebo. These drugs generally come along with a host of different side effects, adverse effects, Oxymetazoline, one of the main side effects is the fact that there is a potential of rebound congestion after you use it, if you use it for about three days or more. The orally administered pseudoephedrine and phenylephrine are going to have a lot more side effects because, of course, Remember, despite the fact that we're selectively hitting the alpha-1 receptor, there's going to be some crossover effects. And those crossover effects, for instance, to the beta-1 receptor, uh, the beta-1 adrenergic receptor, as it 
uh, slightly stimulates that. There's going to be an increase in heart rate, increase in the contractility of the heart as it increases uh, the central nervous system stimulation. There's going to be uh, alertness, uh, but, but to the point of uh, anxiety, nervousness, and insomnia. And another thing is that the alpha-1 receptor that it does hit, that it's made for, the selective alpha-1 receptor is on other blood vessels, of course, all through the periphery. And if you're going to be constricting all of those with an oral medication, especially with the oral medications, then what's going to happen is that there's going to be an increase in the blood pressure. So that may actually result in an exacerbation of hypertension for those who already have hypertension, or perhaps a hypertension in those who are kind of borderline. There's also a number of different drugs which need to be avoided as the person is taking the alpha-1 agonists that are acting as decongestants.